Today we are going to learn the topic learning how to measure. See in this lesson we are going to learn how we are going to measure different things with the help of different standard measuring instruments. See in the olden days before the uh, invention of the scale or tape anything how they are going to measure the things. See here are some of the old conventional methods. See what are they? If you want to buy anything from the shop like cloth for stitching your shirt or dress material. So how you are going to ask the shopkeeper how much of cloth you need. So before going to the shop you ask the tailor who will stitch your dress or shirt. So how much of cloth you require for your size. So the tailor will tell you this much of cloth you require. He will take the measurements your body measurements and then he will tell you how much of cloth you need for stitching the dress and also when you look at the height or length of your body size they will measure it with some measuring instrument but in the olden days earlier before the invention of all these things how they are going to measure so what are these old conventional methods we'll see now see they are hand span foot span and cubit so now we will see what are these hand span, foot span and cubit by performing the activities. So this is the hand span children from thumb till the little finger this is called as hand span. So now we are going to measure this table with the help of the hand span. See now measure with the help of the hand span this table length of this table 1, 2, 3 and it is less three and a half. So three and a half hand spans. Next. Next to student. One. Two. Three. And four. So here one student got three and a half. And the other student got four hand spans. Yes. So there is a difference between the hand spans. Because the size may vary depending upon the height of the children. So now we, I will also check 1, 2, 3 and half, 3 and half. So like this we can measure with the help of the hand spans. So this is the foot span from the tip of the toe till the end of the foot. So this is called as one foot span. So depending upon the length of our foot, the foot spans may vary. For measuring the floor, now uh, by using different foot spans of different students, we are going to measure the distance of this floor from this point till this point. See how many foot spans it may be. Now measure. One, two, three. 4, 5 and it is nearly about 6. Yes, approximately 6 foot spans. Next student, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Approximately it is 5 foot spans. So, in this manner we can measure roughly with the help of foot spans. Yes, now... Now we will see what is a cubit. See from the tip of this finger, middle finger till the elbow. This is called as cubit. So for measuring the string of the flowers we use cubit. So now we will measure this table with the help of the cubit from the elbow till the middle finger. Yes, one, one cubit, one and a half cubit, one and a half cubit. Now as we have measured by using hand span, foot span and cubit. So this may vary when we are measuring anything with the help of the hand span, cubit or foot span it depends upon the size of the person who is measuring. So there will be quarrels, fights so disputes may occur depending upon the size of the person who is measuring the cloth or anything. Even, even now we are uh, buying the flowers purchasing 
the woman she will be measuring the string of flowers with the help of the cubit only see nowadays they we are measuring different instrument to avoid this fights between the shopkeepers and the customers so what are the standard measuring uh, instruments used for measuring different things with the help of different instruments we are going to measure different things so what are these standard measuring units see we will see see the different measuring instruments we are going to use a scale or a measuring tape you can see this measuring tape with the tailor and also the cloth merchant yes and also for measuring the distances large distances we are going to use a large tape like for measuring the agriculture fields or lands we are going to use the tape like this like the things so now we'll see the what are the standard measuring units see 1 meter meter means it is 100 cm so 1 cm is equal to 10 mm you can find this on the scale see when you look at the scale it has it is divided into this is of meter uh, how many 50 cm scale 50 cm is nothing but half meter that is it is half meter 50 cm so now this cm it is again divided into millimeters it is divided 1 cm is again divided into 10 divisions which is nothing but millimeter one unit is 1 mm this is a millimeter with the shortest distance on the scale which we can measure yes so 1 meter is equal to 100 cm and 1 cm is equal to 10 mm so this millimeter is the shortest distance on a scale for measuring large distances like distance of a place from one place to uh, another place how we are going to measure by measuring with the help of the kilometers the unit is kilometers 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters so in this manner we are going to measure different distance of a place and cloth and different object by using different measuring instruments yes